Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to have a look at how to add headers and footers to your Excel document. Now to get into the headers, there are two different ways of doing it. You can go down this bottom right -hand corner and click on page layout view, which gives you the option there of header. Or if I go back to the normal view, you can go to the insert tab and across to where it says text and you can get into it through the header both bring you to the same place now in layout view what you've got is it looks like a word document you've got the header across the top of the screen which is split into three sections and some tools the header and footer tab appears at the top and a link to go to the footer and the same process across the bottom for the footer so if I start typing a header, so if I put Steve in that first bit and in the middle bit, let's look for the date. Now when you click on date, it doesn't actually physically put the date there straight away. It puts like the code and then the time and you'll see the date and time as soon as you click into the next box. So you can see the date and time there now. And what you've got also there is like the file path, the file name, the sheet name. So I'm going to put the file path there. Now that could be quite a long path. If I click away from that, that's quite long, not too bad. Now in the footer area, if I go down to the footer, what I'll put in the footer is I'll put the sheet name and then in the middle, I'll put the page and then I'll do of and then a space and then pages. So you can see that I've got the page whatever page number that is of pages. If we go back up to the top, you can now see that header. Now on the next page, what I want to do on this one is have this tick on. So if the tick's off, it says Steve. If I put the tick on, I can change that to be a different header from there. So if I just put in there um, sheet name, and then you can see how that works. So if I click away, I want the um, the sheet name to be in there. And at the moment, it's not doing anything. And the reason it's not doing anything is because there's no data in there. So if I just type something and then type something on that one, so we've got some text. Now you've got the induction there. I don't want that in there. So the file name and path I want on this one. So file path, but I don't want it on that one. So because there was no data there, it just ignored the second page. But now there is data there. You can see that it's slightly different on each page. Now the beginning of this ribbon area, you've got header and footer. And if you drop that arrow down, you can see you've got previously used headers and previously used footers, which you can select from this drop down area. So when you finish putting the header and footer on, you can go back into normal view, which is this little button down the bottom there. I need to get out of the header first, normal view. And then you can just see Excel as you would normally be expecting to see it. Now, if I go file print, you can see the header and footer again through print preview options and the second page, like so, and back. And if you need to get into it again, quickest way is down the bottom, click on the page layout view, or you can go to page layout on there and mess about with the features that you've got in the page setup area. But basically the headers and footers are just text or information that appears at the top of the screen or the bottom of the screen and will be printed off on every page depending how you've got it set up. So in this example, second page is going to be different to the first page because you've got that ticked, different first page. You can also tick different odd and even pages if you wish, but that's all I want to talk about in this little session, just headers and footers in Excel. So thank you for your time. Hopefully that was of use to you and I'll see you in the next one.